Hi friends, good day. Today, let us try to understand about what is AWS, overview of AWS, components of AWS through this video. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. AWS, it is a cloud computing platform that provides on-demand computation, storage, and other services. AWS started in 2006 as a way for Amazon to get rid of their IT infrastructure costs. They were able to do this by allowing third-party developers to use Amazon's infrastructure. Amazon Web Services AWS, is a collection of remote computing services that together make up a cloud computing platform offered over the internet by Amazon.com. These services operate from different geographical locations across the world and are accessible through an API or online tools for developers and administrators. AWS provides a set of cloud-based services to help developers build, deploy, and manage applications on the internet. Let's look into the overview of AWS. Amazon Web Services is a collection of cloud computing services that together make up a suit of powerful, reliable, scalable, and inexpensive infrastructure building blocks. AWS provides a broad set of global compute, storage, database, analytics, application services, and other features to help organizations move faster and lower costs. AWS is the best option for companies looking to manage their IT infrastructure in the cloud. It provides the best website performance booster as well as other benefits like high availability, scalability, and cost effectiveness. Components of AWS The main components of AWS are EC2, Lambda, and S3. Amazon EC2 Elastic Compute Cloud is a web service that provides resizable computer capacity in the cloud. It is designed to make web scale computing easier for developers. EC2 It uses Linux and Microsoft Windows as the operating system for its instances, with Amazon's own AMI being available on both platforms. Lambda is a serverless computing platform provided by AWS that allows users to upload code that will be executed in response to events from other AWS services or from custom code that the user uploads along with their event trigger. S3 Simple Storage Service is an object storage web service offered by Amazon Web Services. Now let us look into the differences between AWS versus dedicated servers. The cost-benefit analysis is an important tool to help you make a decision. The following table summarizes the benefits and costs of using an Amazon Web Service server versus buying a dedicated server. Benefits Cost Savings Reliability Scalability Reduced Hardware Maintenance Complexity of Setup and Configuration to summarize, Amazon Web Services is a set of cloud-based services that offer a variety of on-demand computing resources. AWS offers four different service categories, compute, storage, database, and other services. AWS provides these services to clients through a web-based interface called the AWS Management Console. These services are built on an hourly basis or in a flat monthly rate with no long-term contracts or cancellation fee. Dedicated servers are physical machines 
that provide hosting for individual websites or applications. Dedicated servers have much more processing power than shared hosting solutions like Amazon Web Services. This is because they have their own dedicated hardware, meaning that they are not sharing hardware with other users. AWS provides a secure environment with a 99.99% uptime guarantee. For this reason, it is the best choice for your business needs. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.